won't stop till I wear the crown Welcome back to the channel everybody This is Levin Lamar, your host and we are playing Satisfactory In the last video we set up coal generators all the way over in this said direction uh, we did drag a power line all the way back you can kind of see it up on that hill there we're, we're not using the power yet but uh, today we are going to be setting up some better storage and redoing this factory a little bit and we'll see how far we get back over here though we should be able to complete some milestones I completed this one the other day which gave us a truck station, a tractor, and more inventory slots, which we really, really needed. Um, so we got to complete this one next. Basic steel production. Uh, that'll give us a foundry, uh, steel beams, steel pipes, versatile frameworks. I don't even know what you use half of this stuff for yet, but that's what we have to complete here. And I need more rotors and copper wire for it. And then we should be able to complete this milestone. Unlocking a foundry, whatever that does. Oh, we need 50 modular frames, yes. 150 rotors, uh, that's not going to break me. 300 concrete, and a thousand wire. Then we get to launch this thing into space. Boom. Milestone reached. Steel production unlocked. There it goes. Foundry grants access to new, simple steel parts. An additional project part can now be constructed. Progress to the next phase is now possible. Also, if you guys want to see something funny you can do in this game, when you drop items just out of your inventory, like say I take this stuff and just start dropping it out of my inventory, if I just take everything here and just start like dropping it out, it starts stacking up. You can already kind of see the stack. Well, it, it literally just stacks it. Advanced steel production, select milestone, slap our 200 steel pipes in, our 200 rotors, 1500 copper wire, and then I believe it's concrete, right? Yep. Launch away. Milestone reached. Logistics can be improved oh no, it shut with a down. larger storage container, enhanced conveyor belt efficiency, as well as the ability to store excess power for later use. An additional project part can now be constructed. Further progress to the next phase is now possible. You blink and all of a sudden you're running out of power and everything's shutting down. If you don't do it right, which I, which I definitely did not start out well, I didn't know how to play, so I just I made a mess. I basically made a brain tumor. That's what my factory is right now. A large brain tumor. Let's uh, let's have a nice sip of coffee. Hmm. You know, that, that wasn't a good enough sip. Let's make sure we're running. We get a clink. Where's our clink? There it is. You gotta make sure you clink it against your helmet that you're wearing while you drink the coffee. I don't, I don't even think I drink the coffee. I'm pretty sure I just uh, slap it to my helmet and just pour it down the face of the helmet. I feel like a one-man construction crew. So basically, every construction crew we have in America, they call them 10-man crews usually. It's like six men, 10 men. Hey, we got 20 guys working on this, and then, you know, one guy like me over here is actually doing the work, the other guy's sipping on the coffee. That's why I have the coffee cup right here. I'm prepared for my break, but nobody else has shown up to take over, so we're, we're just stuck here still working. We're the, we're the one guy doing the job. And now we should be able to complete another milestone for hyper tubes. So 300 copper sheets, uh, what is it, 300 steel pipes, and 50 encased industrial beams. We can launch this off to space. There it goes. Milestone reached. Fixit Incorporated has processed and incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe-based personal transport. Take off. Introducing Hypertubes. Safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun. Enjoy a view of your hard work as you soar through incredibly tight turns. Build them today. Note, Fixit Incorporated is not responsible for any harm caused by irresponsible use of this product. 
Now we would never irresponsibly use hyper tubes, right? I I I would never irresponsibly use those. I, obviously, they they said they were safe. So how could you irresponsibly use them? But if it's safe, it can't hurt you, right? Yeah. No. No, we'll be good. We definitely won't set up a bunch of them and shoot ourselves into space. Hey, maybe if I did, maybe I can find out where the hell they're taking all my stuff. I mean, I keep sending them stuff like. We, we keep shooting it up in the rocket. We keep sending it up to the space elevator. You know, wait, where's all this stuff going? Why do they need it? Why can't I have my uh, own supply? Oh, my own factory of stuff. I don't even know why I work for these people. Uh, what, what if we find out the company we're working for who sent us down to this planet? Do all this work is actually the aliens from the planet? So they have all these alien creatures. What if there was a smart one? Wait, we're not even working for the human race. We're just a human they kidnapped, brainwashed, and dropped onto a planet with a job. Just something to think about. Let's move right on to the next one here we gotta make 200 steel beams 100 more steel pipes and then just grab some more concrete which we can easily grab some more concrete now that we've done that we can load them up into our hub terminal logistics mark three select milestone throw in our 200 steel beams our 100 steel pipes and 500 concrete let's launch this thing into space milestone reached. Right. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. Yeah, all of the next tiers we have to unlock. Yeah, the next two tiers, so five and six. Tier five and six we have to unlock by putting stuff into the space elevator. But first we have to redo our factory, possibly add to our new coal power plant and see where we can go from there. All right, let's see what new stuff we have unlocked. It's like the power storage. Seems we can store power in that and discharge rate unlimited. So if you had a bunch of them, uh, that might be kind of nice. It would help if anything ever shut down because it could just circulate the power around and keep it running so we could fix the mistake before it shut down or before it shut down completely, I guess. Got some faster conveyor belts, industrial storage. Now, of course, it takes steel beams and uh, steel pipes. Not a lot of them, though, so we'll be able to make those pretty quickly. Just slap them in there. Doubles our storage slots, though, to 48 in one container. And what is it? It has two inputs and outputs for conveyor belts, so that's handy. Anything else we unlocked? I don't believe so. Let's get started on our storage unit, though. It's going to be pretty big. I'll actually give it more of a base feel-in look this time instead of just slapping it out in the open. There's a nice big platform. This is going to be our big, huge storage area, which hopefully we can keep using through quite a bit of the game and then just build up from here. There to here. Okay, that's pretty nice. I know this lookout tower is supposed to be helpful, but it seems kind of short now. Eight on each side, so we got 16. So that is 16 items we can store, which is quite a few. I mean, it can't hurt, and I can always build up later. Like, all, all I really need to do if I wanted to build higher is just get my ladder and open this block up, put another tower up there, and start building. Look at this nice storage facility. Just a jumbo orange block that that creature will probably start flying through if I put it high enough up. Those are five jumbo storage units oh look at all that stuff so much stuff we need a little scroll bar for it very nice so this, is, this is turning out very well i like this so we're gonna have eight of those here eight storage units right on this side we'll have eight on the other side and then i believe i think i want to take a conveyor belt and i can i guess i can do this now on these ones i want to just drop it down I'm trying to just have a conveyor coming out so like I, I can see what the items are i am stuck i am actually stuck how does this happen to me i, I swear this always happens to me I look at a tree wrong and I, I get too close to it, I get stuck. And now I'm just stuck on my own building. There we go, I'm alive again. I've been freed. Well, this is the beginning of our storage unit here. It's uh, it's pretty massive, especially compared to what we have for storage down here, which I don't know if you can even tell what we have down here, because I just have storage boxes just slapped all over the place. Literally just randomly slapped all over the place, just leading into each other. This should work out decently. I'll have to start leading some of the materials up here figuring some of the conveyor belts and stuff i think that's where i'm gonna end it though thank you for anybody who watched and tuned in appreciate the support and i will see you on the next one